Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell's Double AC5. Learn to survive with Double AC5. Alright, so since the last episode we have jumped systems. We have gone to Boang here. It is a, I believe, three and a half skull planet. Let's just take a quick look at the navigation. We didn't go very, very far. Uh, I was looking for a planet that we could do some fighting in. So it's right here. Um, it's not that big of a deal. It's owned by the, the uh, local government. But there's Comstar presence here, so we've got both Word of Blake and Comstar. So there's some good good fighting to be had here before we jump out of here. We're going to, like we just kind of arrived. I'll probably pull off, a, there's going to be at least two missions here, maybe a few more, depending. Um, but before we look at the mission we're going to go and do today, let's have a look at the mech bay. So I did a couple minor adjustments to the secondary lance here. So the Storm Crow got a little bit of an upgrade. Not much, but a little bit. I've been talking about it for a while here to pull off the mine layer, which I did. Put on a rocket 10 instead. Upgraded the regular uh, medium lasers to ER medium lasers. So we have a bit more range. Added sensor trackers onto this thing, so we got better long range capability. This guy is basically, you know, is supposed to be staying at long range with all these long range weapons. So that's the kind of goal now, is that's what he'll do, is just stay at longer range and uh, be a fire support mech. So that's this guy. And then I did a minor change, well, not a minor change, but a minor rethinking to the Orion. Um, not a big fan. That, that plasma cannon, it's really situational. And I had a bit of an issue with it. So I thought I would just remove that and put it in the, the clan ER PPC we have. It's about the same heat, but this gives us, you know, 75 pinpoint damage. Also, we don't have to worry about fire being in the area, all that kind of stuff. So, and it'll also add, a, you know, a, like... Um, a secondary PPC to this. We were also able to add a couple of, well, one extra heat sink. Um, I had to move one of these to the arm. But we also gained an ECM, the tag, uh, and I was able to put an upper recoil in here. The advanced zoom went from a two to a three, just so that the PPC here can be a uh, full bonus for that. Um, this has got an 840, the, the advanced zoom two is only 810, so I made sure we got the maximum range on it. it wasn't much of an upgrade, but you know, it was enough. So that's pretty much this here. So the ERPPC and the snub nose is 86. Heat efficiency is 87. If we alpha strike, it's 100, which means I can fire the rotary and these two and be overheat. That's if I only fire two rounds. And I got to think about how we're going to use this in today's battle because we're going to have probably a lot of enemies. So I'm going to have to mitigate how many, how much I fire this. So I'll probably be shooting two rounds at least for the first little bit. And then if we get a really good chance to hit, I'll wind her up. And then we'll probably just drop one of the PPCs so we don't get, or maybe both of them so we don't overheat. But uh, that'll be the goal for today. Um, so yeah, let's just do that. And then that's about it. Don't think I made any changes to the main lance. If they were, they were minor, like electronics changes. But I can't remember. I don't think I did. Anyway, it doesn't matter because today we're going to go to the command center. We got a four skull um, right here. A four skull capture base against the Word of Blake. So this should be interesting. I'm expecting relatively tough um, defense. I think the Word of Blake operates with, is it five or six mechs per? I know Comstar is six. Blake might be five. It's possible that it's six per lance. Most likely we'll be facing a, a lance at the start and then a lance at the end. It might be two lances at the start, in which case I'm kind of worried because I don't think we can fully handle that. But we're going to try it. we got to try to get into some heavier um, combat here. So that's what we're going to do with this. So let's negotiate this. And we're going to go full salvage, hoping we can pick up some good stuff. Now I did sell off uh, a bunch of... Actually, before we go, uh, I did sell off a bunch of... Hey, old man. parts, like old mech parts, some of our old mechs and stuff. And I got a bunch of C-bills, so we have enough to make the financial report if things go bad. But as I had enough to bring the bushwhacker forward and actually get it loaded out. So it's under repair now. I'll show you that when it comes back. And I got the Perseus back, which is basically an Orion, advanced Orion, like Omni Orion, I guess, kind of thing. Um, and it hasn't been loaded out yet. 
So I, I, I couldn't really find a, a weapons build I wanted to put on it quite yet. So it still needs to be done, but the Bushwhacker is going to be ready to go. We can probably bring most likely the Rabid Coyote down and the Bushwhacker forward, and we'll have a, another Lance here ready to go. And then the Perseus can move up to the main Lance. Someone will be bouncing back and forth between the two. I'm not sure who it will be yet, but we'll see how it goes. All right, now let's go to the command center. All right, I'm not really looking forward to this. This could be really bad. It could be really bad or it could be really good. I just want it to be a challenge, you know? So let's bring in the main lance or second lance here. I keep thinking main lance. I know it's just it's just a heavy lance. Apply that. Rabid Coyote is going to get the chance to uh, do some stuff here today. Will it actually work really well? I don't know. I don't know that. We're going to bring the Efreet as well. So the Cloud Buster is going to be out. You're coming down. What? Oh, wrong one. Here we go. Hetzer's coming out. And we're bringing the Ferret today. Hetzer's going to stay with the e main Lance. And that's how it's going to be. Hopefully this thing will do some good damage for us today. I'm not sure if this is going to be better than running the Cloud Buster because the Cloud Buster can go until the end. This thing will be out of ammo first half kind of the battle uh, then it'll be situational most likely I'm mean, like I said I'll use it like I kind of did in the last battle we'll maneuver it around try to get some back strikes screw the enemy up pull it out just so I can mitigate how much ammo we're using because we don't really have a whole lot of ammo we got I think we got enough for 10 turns of firing with the SRMs or something like that and the uh, AMS's are will probably be out after the first little while so see how that goes iron tides I'm hoping to do some good back strikes with today too so uh, let's do this we're rated at three skulls now with the uh, with this thing in. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. I hope we're okay. Command interface all right, here we go. Desert could work for us or could work against us. Looks like they got two lances. Could be two lances. We'll see. When you tree cover nope, here. they got a support Let lance. You. So. Oh boy. I don't remember this map. Oh, I do now. I think we're supposed I think originally you approach it from this side, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong. All right. Uh, how do I want to handle this? I mean, we could try and draw them out. I think maybe that's what we try and do. Although if we go here, that gives them, if we try and crest and shoot, that's going to give them the ability to, like, everybody to shoot at us. Whereas if we're on one side or the other, we can hopefully get a couple of quick kills. Uh, using range. So maybe we start. Oh, I mean, we could start here and work our way around. I don't think it matters what we do here. Let's just hope it's not bad. Uh, let's start back here. Yeah, I wish I had a second lance. Oh crap, our back's like facing the enemy now. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, good. Okay. Wait, is that just the place where we have to go? Or is that a lance? I don't know. That's got to be where we're going. So maybe they only, maybe they do only have one guy. Oh, they got defensive turrets. Ah, okay. Okay, that's a little better. I mean, depending on the turrets, but let's just hold off. Yeah, you don't have much to do yet. Let's get down here. Maybe we can get some sensors or something on them. We've got a bit of sensors. Point defense. AMS, which is... I'm glad we don't have a lot of missiles. Heavy LRM turret, that's bad. So that's got to go. 
Standard interdictor turret. Einark launcher, that's interesting. And where's the last guy? We just can't see him yet. It's probably this guy right here. Okay, I'm glad we started on this side. Okay, you're done. Confirmed. Um, where are we going? I think I want to push this. We got to kill this turret fast, and these other two aren't really a threat. So let's try. We might be able to see that with PPCs through here. So let's not put you where the PPCs can see you. Let's drop into here. Stay in the trees if you can. Minimize any damage ex incoming by the LRMs. Yes, Commander. You um, have the advanced AMS, so let's park here. Going to have a lot of work to do the first little bit so we can kill that LRM turret. Oh, what do they got? A Juanita. Okay. Okay, okay. We got a lamb. Interesting. Waiting for orders. So we do have a line on the turret, we just don't have range. Uh, we're gonna go this way. No shooting, just running. Not even, barely even doing that. Ready for orders. Okay. Um, you've got range. So let's take an opportunity to try that. But what is it that's in range, though? Yeah, Thunderbolt Pack. There's no point. It's a good chance to hit, but this guy's just gonna shoot it down. We've got to get rid of their AMS, too. Heavy PPCs can't do it either, eh? All right, we'll just push in here. Not quite yet, anyway. Yeah. It's a lot of damage. Didn't get any of them. Waiting for orders. Didn't get any of them. This may seem foolish, but I gotta get in the range of my guns here. Alright, we've got eyes on a lot of people now. So who do we got here? Crusader. LRMs. Figures. Clan LRMs. Heavy AC turret. It's all AC2s. Jesus. Alright. Start on this guy. Okay, good damage. This is not the day to have this guy here. Let's move up. Maybe they'll shoot for him. Maybe. Here comes those LRMs. Ooh, I'm outside the AMS range. Damn. That's not good. I gotta kill that turret then. Standing by. Uh, no. Um, Ready to rock. Let's bring those boomers. Nah, he's not. He's not even in range. Damn, still not in range. Still not in range. What's up, boss? I started back further because I was worried about Max. That was a mistake. You're still not. You're not going to be in range either. Get around this way. Okay, it's fine. Double time. Let's go. Getting killed by our speed. I thought those I thought for sure those PPCs would be in range now, the light ones on the uh, on the avatar. Mm, boy. 
I'm gonna have to do a vehicle rush, I think. I'm gonna have to bring the Ifrit into here and the, uh... The ferret. Well, the ferret was definitely gonna be moving up this way anyway. Who's moving? The lamb? Yeah. Light damage, Commander. Yep. Let's see where he moves. Where are you going? Come on, punk. Not even gonna move. Waiting for orders. I hope they fix that. Now, if I move... Oh, I think the AMS is jammed. I'm not getting a circle for the AMS. I'm gonna move into here. Copy that, Commander. I want to give them something to shoot for, which should give us lots of uh, evasion, too. Yeah. Okay. Ah, nice. What are your orders, Skipper? You're not in range, but we're gonna move Roger, full Skipper. speed. It. Just out of range with those light PPCs. Well, next turn we'll be in range. Hopefully. I don't think we got very many of those. You need me to hold still for you? Oh, we got 14. That's not bad. Hey, yo. How far can you get? Not that far. Let's get down here, though. Copy that, Commander. Now we're in the open. We should be able to move relatively freely here. AC2 turret. Good thing we're at range. All right. Receiving you. Okay, I gotta move the storm core out of the way first. So. Bye. Gonna back up back here. Gonna sit right there. Good to go. Then. Push. Push, 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 push. I think it's just the ER that's in range. Oh, both of them are in range. Yeah, see, that's going to run nice and cool. Stumbo's only doing 35 damage from this range, but still. I only landed one, eh? Thought for sure I'd have got both of them. damage, Commander. Receiving you. Alright, let's go with... I can get up here, right? I actually don't think I can get through that water, though. That Can I? Yeah, I can. Maybe right along the coastline here. Where do I want to go, though? Do I want to go through here? In the open. Let's go supercharger this turn for sprint speed. Gonna go here. All in air. I think the MRMs will be shot down. Well, we're going to fire it anyway to see if we, if we can at least get the tag on here. Yeah, they got all of them. It's fine. At least the tag's on. Ooh, somebody's got a heavy, uh... Ouch. Took a hard hit there. You did. You did. This is brutal.
I'm up in the air now of whether I want to move the Ifrit in and try and mess with them or if I want to keep it back for the AMS temporarily. Our heavies are so slow. At least that Crusader's moving forward, and this guy's not really moving, so... Oh, here he goes. Well, uh, he pretty much signed his death warrant. Not gonna not take that shot. Oh, I got a good view of it. I've had a good view of it for the past hour, half an hour. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, the turrets are online. Leave me all day online. What do you mean, are they online? We know they are. How do I want to do this? A pair of IETMs and a large improved heavy. Which is probably here. I'm not going to get any info, am I? Probably running XL and ER large laser. That's pretty nice. We got a lot of shots, so let's try for a headshot. Let's see what you got. We're going to land everything anyway. There's the head hit. Standing by. And I think I want to fully capitalize on this. We're going to move over here. we can get a one up here, that'll be nice. If we can get one up, that would be nice. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try torso, I think. Just firing the SRMs, leaving everything else off for now. Roger. There we go. Target down. Alright, one up. Ready to rock. Boomer! Um. Let's get into range. I know we're unstable, but... Quick I don't think they can fully knock me down this next turn. But this should kill this turret before it fires, I think. That's what, 100 and 210? Oop, maybe not. I'm on him. Really good damage, though. Fucked up his sensors. Still coming in with the shot. Good thing his sensors are messed up. Not much armor left in that location. I'm showing minor damage. Commander. Okay, moving into here. Understood. Moving fast. Let's try and finish this turret off. Firing. The AC missed. Really? Inflicted some heavy damage. Alright, well. Commander. All right, hot seat cockpit turn. Gives me bonus walk now. Man. Okay. Moving out. Same shot, we gotta shoot this guy. Hopefully it lands, we'll see. Now. 
At least the tag's on. At least we're partially slowly, slowly burning out that AMS. At least they've only got two guys here. If there was a full lance, you'd be in a lot of trouble. Skipper. If that was a full lance, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Trees. Copy that, Commander. This guy hasn't gone yet, so let's finish him off. I got you. Okay, 20, 40 tubes down. Enemy eliminated. Main threats, Crusader. I'm here. They got a lot of support from this turret, so let's get into... Nope. Yep. All right. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I think the Urian gives. I can't remember if that's the bonus to hit or if that's the one that makes it harder for. Yeah, minus twenty five percent chance to be shot down by AMS, and the fact that we're point blank, we should be able to pull off a pretty good shot here. Yeah, we landed a bunch. What are your orders, Skipper? Landed a bunch. He has a bonus versus streaks, but at this point blank range, I don't know if he'll get too much of a bonus. AMS just the AMS just doesn't have time to react at this close range. So hopefully they land, we'll see. Got him. Bye bye. Front line clear. Good turret shot. Good turret shot. Ready for orders. Okay, get up here. What do we got for a chance on you? It's actually not bad with the rotary. I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna fire everything. Cause why not? So one rotary and one, uh... Oh wait, was I using normal ammo? I think I was. Shoot. I meant to use APFS... DS ammo. Commando? I think you can do the same thing to this AC2 turret. Without getting in the target area? Maybe down here you need to clear the area commander I'm still reading hostile targets really you're still reading hostile targets eh oh. only missed with two so that's not bad all right now Skipper. that's a big boomer This guy's still the threat. Um, can leave the barrage off. Ah, no, we might as well throw it on. I don't think he's going to be anywhere near our vehicles and stuff. Ah, uh, rockets can stay off. I'm going to keep him for the next uh, battle. Ooh, see ya. Enemy eliminated. Screw you! Aye, aye. We got the tools. We got the talent. Too bad that barrage was wasted. Oh well. Uh, we can go with the thunder. Well, I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna save the thunderbolt for the. I uh, yeah, just fire these for the next lance that comes up. Because I have no idea what we're gonna be facing. I would rather make sure that uh, we got some powerhouse, some powerhouse shots. Now. Do not put one into the back of the, uh... You shouldn't. Leave the rotary off. Roger. Nice. I'll pass the armor. Reporting critical hit. 
Yes, Commander. Hang out right there. Holding here. Just hang out right there for now. Get up on this guy. I got you. Hello. Fuck, just give me a lance of ferrets. Target destroyed. I mean, they wouldn't stand too much of a chance against a full AMS uh, outfitted mech lance, but... Or even if they just had, like, long-range LRMs. Oh, okay, here comes the reinforcements. Oh, shit. That looks like a powerhouse unit. Okay, Griffin. At least they're clustered. Reporting serious armor loss. Avatar. Pratea. Or Preta. Preta? Whatever the fuck it's called. That's a lamb, I think. Ah, scout. So that's not too bad. Shadowhawk. All right. It's got an ultra. Oof, that's a lot of fucking damage. Ultra and LRM-20. <sighs> okay. Yes, Commander. Fuck this guy. Let's keep you quiet. Roger. Plus 87 heat. Reporting multiple weapons with no ammo. I saved half of them because I want them to move and then I want to hit them again. Oh, he took a fair bit of damage. Yeah, I don't think this guy's going to get into melee. I can't take much more of this. And if he does, he's he's just meat. Yes, commander. He's just going to be meat. I want to try and finish this turn off. Received. Get it out of my back here. Um, we have enough power to do it here. 45, 105, 155. This is everything hit. This is if everything hits. 215. We don't have enough with just this one guy, but we're going to fire it all. Hopefully everything lands. We've got pretty good chances to hit. Targeting for an alpha strike. Well, it didn't all land, but we did a lot of damage. I'm out of short range missiles. What do I do with you? Well, fill that guy with acid for number one. Damage minimal. I'm glad I switched that extra PPC on the Orion. Plasma cannon might have been okay. His eyes running goss. It's 
It's a nice bit of fire over here, though. As long as these guys stay grouped up. Well, they're not. Never mind. So they got two griffins. This thing's gonna get murdered. This might be this thing's last battle. Damage minimal. I think I would have rather had the centurion. I thought about swapping it out before starting. Ready for orders. Is there no? We can't even get it up there. Like, man, melee mechs are so situational. I get my left side that's damaged. Can't quite turn to the right. Let's get over here. Try and finish this turret off. Just get rid of it. Nice. That turret is gone. Standing by. Gotta close the distance. I, mean, I don't necessarily have to close the distance, but they do outgun me, and I gotta get a better chance to hit, so. That's pretty nice. Let's go this route. Mm, three shots. And then we'll drop it next turn and fire the two PPCs. Landed one. Damn. Uh, yep. I right, skipper. Full speed. No target. I mean, the Avatar, I don't know if it's the biggest threat on the battlefield right now. Um, but it's the hardest. You got two MRM-20s and a light goss. He's the hardest to kill, so once he's gone, the rest of them, we should be able to peel them down pretty quickly. I don't want to leave this guy to the end, because he's got so much freaking armor. Open on the one side. Ready to rock. Stand four. Not so worried about this move, because if these guys turn around to try and shoot him, they'll take it straight in the back. I mean, they're, they're not going to turn around, but... The question is, how much do you have left here? Too much. We're just going to fire. Oh, nice. Yes, goodbye. Target down. Yeah, screw that base. We don't want it anyway. <laughs> it's just a local government asking me to go here. I don't really care about that. <laughs> Alright, now i got to decide who I'm going to fry. What's this guy all about? Oh, he's the... Uh, he f he's a flyer. Light damage, Commander. Ready for orders. Okay, who's next? Probably this guy. I'm pretty sure this guy's a lamb. I think this guy's next. So... Question is, is do I side strike him? I think so. Copy that. I feel iffy about this move. It puts two of our guys too close together, but this guy's moving, so Stormcore's taking a hefty amount of damage, but if we can side strike this guy, 
61's not high enough. Leave that off for now. We'll fire the rest, though. Copy that. Okay, the AC landed. Okay, not bad. Damage. That was the Preda? Yeah. 19. Who's going next? We go on 16 with the Efreet. You got some Waiting speed. Forward. Supercharger off. I wish I could test out to see how far I could go when the hot seat's on. I don't like this. I'm gonna walk here. Keep our more of our right side facing them like that. This heat is cooking my internal structure. Why am I so overheated now? don't understand why I'm so overheated. Engaging. Negative damage. Over the red line. Heat damage. I don't know. I gotta figure out how to set that guy up better. He's, he's only got normal heat sinks because I wanted to, him to be hot so we could move farther, but... If I'm not sinking heat, what's the point? I don't want to throw a double heat sink kit in. That's going to be too much, I think. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I'm here. Ten four. I don't know what the answer is. Let's just hammer this guy. Yeah, try Reporting sinking that. Critical hit. Looks like somebody's not shooting this turn. Reporting multiple weapons with no ammo. I'm catching some serious shit here, Commander. Had to be done. Sorry, buddy. Good to go. That's him there. He shut down. Hey, up. Gonna go right here. Affirmative. I know it's not a good idea, but we're doing it. Taking a bit of damage. We have enough to take that leg? 98 internal structure, eh? Or do we just plink his head again? I think it's better just to go after the pilot. Affirmative. Nope. Reporting. Critical hit. Yeah, but we didn't get him though. Commander. I need get, I need the avatar has to move first. Copy that. Holding for the right move. Avatar's in the way. So that guy goes down, then the other griffin goes down. Predator's a target of opportunity. If he moves in too close, we take him out. Shadowhawk at the back is last. Well, Oscout scout probably is going to be last. Oh, he's nice and toasty. Confirmed. I got you. I think we're going to target this guy. Here we go. 
Okay, three hits. Nice. Yes, Commander. Not going to worry about the other uh, guy right now. He's, he's shut down pretty much, so... All he can do is power up next turn. Just running. Um, that'll drop some heat. We'll put two PPCs on him in the tag. Copy that. Okay, we won't put anything on him. Oh wait, we did hit with the tag. Nice. Buffer DNI with small cockpit turned on. Okay. Who's up first here? Oh, you're gonna play that game, are you? Well, at least we're gonna get a melee fight when he gets up, oh, if he gets up. Ugh. So fucking useless. I'm so I'm so done with melee already. I shouldn't be, and I'm gonna stick it out. I'll tough it out. Affirmative. But I, I'm so done with it already. I should just blast that guy, but this guy right now is more of a threat. I think I'll leave that guy to melee fight. <laughs> This guy's probably going to die this turn. Or be close to it. Yeah, we aight. We aight. Can't forget about that Shadowhawk back there, but I think it'll be fine. Ooh, not there. Yep, right there. On my way. God, we're so slow. I gotta take some heat for this, but we're gonna go for it. All weapons are go. PPC gone. That hit something good. Guy's not having a good day. Ah, Boomer goes after him though. Gonna try and get a shot at my guy in the ground, aren't ya? Oh, he shoots shot his own guy, although he hit us with other missiles. Got my tag. Stand and buy. Oof, can't get behind him there. I can there though. Let's get this guy tied up. Roger. Much as I want to kill this guy here, he can't do anything this turn other than start up, so. Let's give this guy a warning shot. I don't like people shooting at my guys. Good angle. Fire it. Critical hit, Commander. Standing by. Alright. Melee this turn is probably a bad idea. But I'm super overheated, so... Can I actually melee? I think I can now, can't I? Apparently not. Can I not? Not at all? Um, nope, apparently not. I guess you can't melee after your stand-up. Garbage chances to hit everywhere. Did I just brace this? As crazy as it sounds... We should be going before them next turn. With the Vigilance on, it should give us more than enough. I'm showing minor damage. Orders. Don't even need to move this turn. Same thing, let's just go after his head. Let's hope we get a head hit. Well, we got the kill anyway. Target down. What are your orders, Skipper? I'm rolling. 
Hey, uh, Mr. Preda. You want to know what I think about people who melee? Including myself? This is what I think! My short range missiles are out. And there's the knockdown. All right. Receiving you. Can we? Sure, we can. See what we get. I'm not opposed to kicking somebody when they're down. Alright, we've got a pilot hit. Good critical hit. Skipper. Should I make sure he doesn't get up? He's gonna die by backstrike. It's not bad on him. What's the chance I mishit my own guy? Affirmative commander. Oh, I'm gonna move in the open and just hit this guy. Oh, I don't know. I'm so up in the air. I'm so conflicted. Although this guy doesn't have much. He's gonna take the back strike. This guy's actually got a half decent loadout. Wait, wait. I had a guy in my... Oh well. Too late now. Guess it's gonna be you. Copy that. Good to go. Get over Moving here. To position. These guys have been doing too much damage to you. Probably XL. Roger. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what, what, what part I target, it just I'm never gonna hit it. Do you wonder why I don't do any cold shots? That's the reason why. What's the point? Oh man. I don't mind. I don't mind landing more shots. Hang in there, buddy. I took a critical hit. You're bleeding out too. I'd be more worried about that. I'm receiving you. Where'd that asshole go? Where is he? Right here. Don't move. Because if we move, we have to fly past them. If I don't move, I can stop here. Screw you! Mech destroyed. He tried for the kill before he died. I'll give him that. Did we activate the, activate the base already? I think we did, didn't we? We should have if we're here. Oh, man. I feel really sorry for this guy. Light damage, Commander. Orders. Oh, the rotary's jammed. Damn it! It's okay. It should unjam this turn. Let's move here. I copy. It should unjam. Take a shot at this guy. Drop some heat. How often do you say I'm gonna fire both my PPCs and drop some heat? Engaging target. Poor right side's gone. Critical hit, Commander. See what he does. See what he does. Ah, you tried. At least he hit. At least he hit.
Sure. Confirm. Here it comes. You're going nowhere. Affirmative. Critical hit. Nice. Well, that should be it for them. This next turn is going to be a bitch for these two guys. That could have been really nasty. If their avatar had gotten close and I started unloading with those MRMs, that could have gotten really nasty really quickly. Eesh, really? It's just a range thing, I think. Reporting critical hit. I'm out of LRM. Bleeding out. Let's just hang out. Waiting for orders. Let's just hang out. This is freak, man. It's brutal. No one really was shooting at it because of the high evasion. Affirmative. Took almost no damage, and this is what the third guy is killed now. That's a kill. It's brutal. I mean, I know this contributed to to, to us being able to take these guys out, especially that one Shadowhawk, or sorry, Griffin. Ooh. I'm losing armor bad. Commander. Get to do this all the time. Oh, geez, we can fire everything with the snub on too. 47%, not too bad, I guess. We're only doing 48 damage with APF SDS, really? It's supposed to do 60% more damage to armor. Engaging. Landed a couple. Ah, uh, wasn't wasn't what I wanted it to be. But that's We're all right. We won the battle. I can't have everything. Oh man, this was brutal. Yep. Don't really want to shoot his backside. I mean, I could just shoot him from here, I guess. Yeah, I'll just shoot him from here. That's really good chances to hit. I'm on him. Bye. All right, chance to get a kill. Got it. You know, it'd be nice to see how much damage output each unit did per battle. On there you go. Well, there it is, folks. Happy Friday. See ya. It's under your control. It's a little bit damaged, but that's not my fault. All right, well, 574,000. I think probably half of that's going to go to repairs, if I had to guess. Simply because of the armor that we have. Um, increase, like, the uh, reactive plating and things like that. Increase the amount of cost. Although he's got regular clan armor. 
You know, I did try modifying this rabid coyote a bit by pulling the clan armor off and putting in heavy pharaoh and stuff, but I, I just couldn't get it. I don't have a bigger core. I have a, two, a 280 is the biggest core I have, so I can't get this thing any faster. So it's, it's probably just going to have to... Wow, look at this. Look at this. I, I This is... I know they move after the, the mechs move, but at no point in time have these, like these guys pretty much took on stuff on their own. That is insanity. You know, you might be better off having a couple of really big tanky, tanky mechs and a bunch of fast vehicles, fast hard hitting vehicles and just back strike the crap out of everything. Because that's, like, I mean, that was a good fight. If we didn't have these two vehicles and we just had two more mechs, we would have taken a lot more damage. We probably would have lost a couple. But with the two vehicles there, it was just the speed makes all the difference, you know? Being able to close really quickly with something. So there's another full avatar. I want to see what's down in the, um, actually, did the uh, Crusader, there's no full Crusader. I just think it'd be nice to have something that's not like another avatar, like something different. The Preda was 45. Really, eh? Shadowhawk parts. I mean, we could... It's a full 5M. So what does this thing have again? Endo frame. Extra light version of the Hermes 275. Doom button LRM 20. SRM launcher just a streak now. So it's not too bad. That's not too bad. Wow, a lot of clan ER mediums. Large improved heavy laser. Clan LRM 15s. Ooh, where would these go though? The bushwhacker I brought back unfortunately has eight missile hard points, but seven of them are fixed. I have completely forgotten about that bushwhacker that it has it has seven fixed rocket launchers on it. And it only has so it only has one missile slot, so it's not like I could load this onto the bushwhacker or something. Although the Orion. Hmm. Because the Perseus. Has, is an Omni, so it's got 12 random sh slots, which I might... I could move the rotary over to that and put it in the arm. And this this Orion go with an LRM build. MRM 20. You know me, I love me some MRMs. Ooh, SRMs, Clan SRM 6s. Ultra 5. Always a favorite for me. Ooh, a lot of these too, eh? Crit, energy, indirect, missile, full C3 lance, light core. We don't have anything bigger than a 270, unfortunately. Advanced clan. It's only improves offensive push by more, but minus 10% jam chance only. Guardian ECM. We're woefully lacking our guardians. We do need double heat sinks because we don't have, we got one. Laser insulator we have and we haven't had a chance to put it in yet. Modular armor is always nice. That's like plus 18 armor. Prototype double heat sinks. Because we have the kit. Vehicular DNI. I know it's a really great item. I'm going to shy away from it though for now. If you take the LRMs, we've got to take the ammo because it has to be clan ammo. Which means we'd have to take two of these if we're taking the two LRM 15s. So we get nothing else. Ooh, the MRM, the guy had tandem ammo. That could have been really bad if he fired that off. 
Ultra 5 caseless, I don't really care about. So... Oh my god, there's such good stuff here. I mean, we could grab the avatar, assemble it. Hopefully we get some of the, the uh, prototype double heat sinks. Because I'm sure it was this guy that had the prototype doubles. Because he dropped all of that heat when I blasted him. I know I said I wasn't going to take it, but... And maybe we grab this. It's super warm, though. Good for a brawler. Well, we'll go that route. It's so much good stuff here, but... We'll see what's there. Gonna have to hold on assembling that avatar, too. I should just grab more of these, but... Already got one of these guys. Two of them. This would be nice, too, but... All right, let's just do it. Oh, we got the Crusader piece. Nice. So two ER mediums, Clan ATM-6, Clan LRM-15. Did we get it? I don't think we got any ammo, though. Machine Gun Plus. What's the bonus for this? Critical hit chance? Recoil the plus one per shot above three. I don't think we're using machine guns anytime soon. Armored Cowl, we've got two of. We can just sell that. Beagle Probe, we got two. We'll sell it. Jump Jets can just go. Okay, Pyre Fire Control System. I'm just going to sell it because we've got two. We need C-Bills. Oh, we got IATM ammo. We didn't get... <laughs> we didn't get the clan... Uh, the clan ammo. Ultra 5 ammo we'll hold on to. We got a prototype double heat sink in the MRM-20. Okay, so it's not... Not the best roll, but not too bad. This This is nice. Oh, yeah, so but what would I thought? A couple hundred thousand. So 22 days isn't too, too bad, considering it's... Ooh, Bushwhacker's going to be in 20. So it's Orion, a rabbit Coyote that are 8 and 9. Perseus. 20 days. Let me think about this here for a second. Let's do that. Because I'm thinking, how long are we going to be here? 12 more days of the financial report. All right. Um, now, we do want to get... We do want to get these guys back then. Because I want to max out the number of missions we can take. So they'll be back in nine days. Road Rash is out for 11. So they'll be back in 11 days just before we leave the planet. It's before the financial report. We didn't make too much, too many C bills off this one, but that's fine. I mean, we still got a lot of time before the Perseus is back, and that'll give us the time when we jump. The Perseus can come back. We can start to getting that loaded out. The Bushwhacker can come back. We'll get that loaded out, and we're gonna get out of here like, like not right away, but shortly. There's a nice mission here I want to take. I think next episode, it's a two and a half skull, but it's against Word of Blake. So this should be an interesting fight. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It's two and a half skull. A blackout. It, it's a wild card, but but be, because they're going to have more units and they're going to be better advanced units, it should be a good fight for our main lance. Yeah, and we'll hold off assembling that new avatar until after we jump. Because I don't want to sink myself too many too much sea bills right now when we got to outfit the Perseus. I think what is going to end up happening. Ah, the more I think about this, I don't, I'm not really hey, sure now. Be with you in a so the stealth will stay in the second lance. The rabbit coyote is definitely going to come down and out of there. I'm probably going to move the centurion up. Depending on what our next mission is, I think I want the the uh, 
the the um, support from this guy with the um, light AC20. Got a bit of SRM uh, shots in this as well, but the light AC20 will help out, I think. It would have been a bit better, I think, in this battle to have that. And then the Bushwhacker will probably end up being the command mech in this lance. Well, maybe. If we move the Stormcrow down, it will, oh no, because the Centurion will be down here. Uh, the Coyote go last, you go there, Centurion will go there, and then the Perseus will move up into here. I think I'm going to leave the Stormcrow as the command, command mech for this lance. I like the speed on this thing. I like the range on this thing. I pushed it in a little too too close the first bit of the match but I think backing it up for a turn uh, took the attention off it and then it came, it, could, it came back in and just uh, started cleaning up again so it's fairly accurate um, it does an okay amount of damage for this for the um, weight and the speed so it's not a bad um, mech to have in this lance up here these three other mechs are going to be just dog slow Yeah, I think we go that route. And then I got to figure out what we're going to do for vehicles because we don't have. I mean, we do have a few other vehicles in here. So we got the grasshopper here still, too, right? So that's. I would rather bring that forward. Like, the Avatar's a great mech, don't get me wrong. Um, but I want to use a variety of mechs. I don't want to use all of the same things. So I'll probably use the grasshopper before I'd use that. Um. We got the hoplite here too. So we got we do have other vehicles here. The bombard's still here. So we got a chariot, which isn't all that great. Tandem light AC5, mortar eight. Nice fire support, not a lot of armor. This chariot's rockets and a thunderbolt. I think I would rather have the mortar. So it can't get shot down by AMS. And I think that's it for vehicles that are a higher weight category. We could put together another Hetzer too. We got one with a Thunderbolt 20. It's really slow though. Thumper artillery. A pair of LRM 15s, which might not be too bad. The last one is the quick sell version. I think I would either take the thumper or the pair of LRM 20s as a fire support for the main lance. Sorry, for the heavy lance, I guess. I, I gotta stop calling it the main lance. And then we need a really fast vehicle. We'll need fire support to get in close because we don't have a lot of indirect fire weapons. And then we need a scout with some good firepower, which, I mean, the Pegasus is all we have currently right now. Pretty good armor, a pair of SRM6s and a medium laser. I mean, it's no ferret, but it's pretty fast. Half decent armor. Yeah. Don't have a lot of options. But... Hopefully we can find some better gear in the next few episodes. I'm going to leave this one here though, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great weekend. Um, there might be not be an episode on Monday. It's a long weekend for me, so I'm not 100% sure if there'll be an episode, but I'll try to make sure I tr try and make sure I get one out. I can't guarantee it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below and check out that quick sell gear. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>